Hi, I'm Ren. I'm creative director of Unpacking, and I'm gonna read some reviews. I'm really bad at organizing stuff. Oh, this is a good opportunity to practice. Cheaper than therapy. A well-made game with just enough challenge to keep it entertaining. I, I am very glad that people are finding it therapeutic. This is the best freaking seven hours of my life. Whoa, big praise, thank you. My friend bought this for me as I was moving houses, and I'm afraid I'm going to finish this before I finish actually unpacking my real life house because it's so good. Yeah, unpacking a fake apartment is so much nicer than unpacking a real apartment. Sewer Slidal is a very good username. I love when things are unexpectedly gay. I love that too. I am always surprised when that happens and I'm like, yes. It made me actually look forward to the next time I move. Ah, that's the, exactly the sort of thing we, we love. I think, you know, moving kind of sucks, but unpacking things after a move is, is pretty nice. And it's nice that I can spread the gospel. I was complaining about how many books this person has until I looked around my room and realized that that person is me. Yeah, see, everyone has a lot of books, it's fine. I don't know, I'm gay and I like organizing. This game smacks. I think that's our target audience. Not recommended. Let me put the soy sauce in the fridge. I don't want room temperature soy sauce. And then a million crying emojis. Oh no. Sorry we let you down. If you could open fridges, you wouldn't be able to put magnets on them. Sorry, it was one or the other. Was this like an actual like thumbs down, not recommended review on Steam? Or yeah. Just... Oh it my god. A, it was a thumbs down. <laughs> that's so funny. Who else was frustrated on the fourth level when the caller certificate went under the bed? I think you and everyone else. I'd love to decorate more rooms and have more tiny chicks. Yeah, people love the chicks. I cried a few times toward the end like a little bitch. Not gonna lie, I, I actually love watching people watch the credits and seeing if they cry. I just, I love seeing if we manage to move people. <laughs> Not recommended. Bad game, can't keep toaster in the bath. I love that this is an actual not recommended. It's not enough for them that we acknowledge the toaster going in the bath by giving you a sticker of a little electrified skeleton. Loved the game, hated the boyfriend. I think that's also a common sentiment. There are games that will run you for a lot longer than unpacking. But do those games let you organize underwear by color? Do they let you put all your man's clothes under the bed while you take over his wardrobe? <laughs> Fuck up his color-coded kitchen with your ugly appliances? I don't think so. If this game isn't for you, it's just not for you. This game is for me. Thank you, Kira, for coming to our defense. <laughs> Got a girlfriend in the game, 10 out of 10. Congrats, Sherlock. Sherlock is their name. Yeah, I'm not just calling them Sherlock, like no shit Sherlock. I love the concept and most of the gameplay is reasonably enjoyable. What super ruined it for me though is how certain items need to be placed in very specific rooms or places in rooms. Well, Faye, I have good news for you. You can turn that off in the accessibility settings. This game is everything I could possibly need in life. It cured my depression, watered my crops, made my skin clear, serotonin levels increased. I'm, I'm glad the game could water your crops, my friend. Put toilet paper on correctly, 10 out of 10. We also allow you to put it on incorrectly if you want to be an absolute monster. Now I'm joking, anyone can put their toilet on however they want. The game won't judge. I, I will. I wish this game never ended. Aw, you can always play again. You get like five albums. You can always erase them too. Just play forever. It's fine. This game is so much more than it seems. It honestly inspired me to look around at my possessions and make me think about what they portray about me. If someone were to just see my stuff, who would they think I am? What would they think I do? The amount of self-reflection this game made me feel is priceless. This is kind of what got us uh, to make the game in the first place. We were unpacking Tim's stuff and was kind of looking around and like, what is my stuff say about me? What does Tim's stuff say about him? How do we essentially tell a story just through items? Honestly, it's been so surprising. We thought we were making like this niche game and it exploded. Thank you so much. We made this game for you. And I'm so glad that so many people seem to be enjoying it. We recently heard about a five-year-old who's played the game more than 20 times. Oh my gosh. Super fan. Yes. Who knew everyone needed someone packing in their lives. <laughs>